TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you for being here on this tutorial in Microsoft Word 2010 in adding columns and rows to a table. Well, what I've done is I've created a table that has some numbering on the left-hand side and some colored columns, and I did that just so as a visual it will be a little easier to work with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click down in this cell just to bring up the design and layout tools, and I want to draw your attention to the layout tab. When I click on that, I have quite a few options for rows and columns right here. I'm going to click on the blue column, and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on insert left. What that will do is it will insert a column to the left of that particular column. I'm going to click on the right hand blue column and I'm going to go insert right. And you'll notice when it inserts it right it keeps the characteristics of what was to the left of the next column. This column was white so it kept this white. So again let's click on the orange. If I go insert left it's going to put orange in that new column. If I click on it again and go insert right, it's going to keep it plain because the next column was plain. As far as rows, again I'm going to select a particular row right there. I'm going to go back up to the layout tab and I'm going to go insert above and insert below. So you can do different things with rows and columns. Very easy to do. In addition, what I want to show you is let's say we want to add multiple columns or rows. Again, columns and rows are the same basic concept. I might pick one to show you, but it doesn't exclude the other from being done pretty much the exact same way. It just takes a little practice. I have selected four columns. If I come up and click on Insert Right, what it's going to do is it's going to insert four columns. So now I have more columns. I'm going to click Undo so you can see that, and you'll see if I click Right, it will insert four columns. So you really need to just come in and practice with this to see how it works, but it's very easy to insert columns and rows and also it's easy to delete columns and rows and I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial. My name is Tony Hollowitz. Thank you so very much. Have a great day.